Have you ever been in a relationship, maybe a love relationship or a friendship or parent to child or boss to subordinate where you've been telling someone something and telling them and telling them and telling them and they don't fucking listen, but then somewhere down the line they hear it from somebody else and all of a sudden it's like their eyes are open and it's the gospel and now they fucking do it. And you're like, what the fuck? I've been telling you this for a long time. Ever had that happen? It reminds me of when I was in, interviewing for an NCAA uh, strength coach position and I was to be the coach for all the teams but the football coach specifically said you know we have one special job for the strength coach at our school and that is you're the get back guy on game day the get back guy is the coach that walks up and down the sideline telling the team to stay off the field because it's easy to sort of creep onto the field to see the action but that's a penalty and it costs the team yardage so they assign one of the coaches to be the get back guy and I flat out said to the head coach I won't do it He's like, what are you talking about? Our strength coach always does that. I said, I won't do it. And he said, why? I said, because it dilutes my voice. The more they hear me yelling, get back, get back, get back. It dilutes the strength of my voice when we're in the weight room. And that's when they most need to be listening. That's when I need their full attention. I'm not going to do anything that's going to dilute that voice. I'm a team player. I'm happy to do anything for this team, but I won't dilute the power of my voice when it's most important. And that's in the weight room. And so my question simply, and by the way, I did get the job. Uh, and no, I didn't have to be the get back guy. And so that raised the question to you, how are you diluting your voice in your relationships? And is it possible all the shit you're saying, all the potential nagging, all the bullshit, all the harping is going in one ear and out the other. Have a kick-ass day.